Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the self-assembly phenomenon. Self-assembly describes a process in which a disordered system with disordered particles becomes organized by the interactions among the particles themselves. Often, a driving force is required, but the particles assemble independently instead of being constructed by the external force. That's why it is called self-assembly. So you might ask, what does it have to do with science or engineering? Self-assembly phenomenon can be observed in a microscopic or nanoscopic scale. For example, magnetic force could drive colloidal particles to assemble into 1D, 2D, and 3D ordered structures. Based on this, products can be manufactured through controlled process of self-assembly. Now we are going to demonstrate the self-assembly phenomenon through poker cards. The equipments we will be using are a small square box, a round box, big rectangular box, and our poker cards. First, we use the round container. 20 poker cards are dropped into the box in all directions. We shake it in two different mutually perpendicular directions, 20 times in each direction. Then we use the rectangle container with larger size to repeat the experiment. Finally, we use the square container with smaller size to do the experiment again. Ok, now let's take a look at the different results. It is observed that the poker cards are aligned in two vertical orientations in the rectangular box, but not in the round container. And for the rectangular container in a smaller size, we still got good alignment of the poker cards, but the overall effects were more remarkable with the decreasing size of the container. So you're wondering why this happened? Here I will explain the self-assembly process in the poker cards experiment. In a self-assembly system, there are four crucial components. First is the structured particles with specific properties that allow them to form into shape. Also, there should be an environment for these particles to live. The driving forces stimulate the interaction between particles, and the binding force supports the particles to assemble and maintain the shape. The lines between the components are actually fuzzy. For example, sometimes the environment can supply the driving force as well. During the experiment, the random poker cards became aligned in two vertical directions in a plane because of the mechanical shaking which is considered to be the driving force. The restriction of the poker card's mobility was applied by the container's wall. Thus, if the poker cards have similar rectangular or square shape as the containers, the alignment of the cards can occur. When the container became smaller, there was more restriction to the movement of the cards so that they eventually became more aligned through shaking. The structured particles were the poker cards. The binding forces were the gravity and the friction between the cards, which also existed between the cards and the container. The environment was the 2D surface of the bottom of the container, which was restricted by the size. The driving forces were the mechanical shaking to the cards, which were manipulated by the environment to use the counterforce from the size to assemble the particles. It is also notable that the cars all assembled face down instead of standing on the edge of the container, because of the balance between center of gravity and the normal force. It was difficult for the cars to keep balance on the perpendicular direction. The cars always rotate to face downwards during shaking. Thanks for watching. If you like our video, the best way to support us is to rate the high score for us. Thank you guys.